Hey guys, uh, <laughs> I made a big mistake. Um, so some of the videos from my go-kart were deleted. Yeah. I had a lot of stuff go on my computer and I tried moving it around and doing all kinds of different stuff. I tried looking for them. They just give you an introductory of what it looked like before. Um, but that video is all gone, so... This is my introductory to the two new buddies, my two buddies, and also this is what we've been doing on the go-kart so far. I've been doing a lot of on the go-kart as well, and uh, part two should be coming out, and that should be the final part. Um, so yeah, hope you guys are enjoying, I hope you watch, and if you make it to the end of the video, consider liking, consider subscribing. Alright guys, I'll see you later on fucking project starting man there we go check the halls with bows of holly fa la 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 is the season to be working la 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 having buddies all around staring at a dumbass with glasses on la 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 nuts so guys, this is um, part one of the go kart process. Did some welding, didn't work. Work steering wheel's fucked for right now. Still gotta get it. New one. It's rubber shit. So, but now, um, next time we're getting the axle. We cut these off because these were the original axles. Which don't know. We're gonna put them underneath. Don't know how smart that is. We're gonna figure it out. I'm going to get a piece of wood and line it up so it's straight across all the way down. And then we'll figure it out from there. And just going to be put on it's a 9 horse. I got these aluminum plates. So I'm going to cut AR, get a water cutter and cut AR-15 out of them. But right now I'm thinking it looks pretty good. It was an antique from the 1990s. But um, I, I just said this thing could look a lot more badass than what it was. Eventually we're going to extend this up. Move this up a little bit, just so this is not, because this wheelbase, as you can see, is not straight. It'd be straight, like, right there. But I got to do some more configuring for it. But we'll figure it out. I'll get it working. Um, the seat, I'm going to do a tractor, John Deere seat. Probably going to move the motor to the middle, but I don't know when. Probably going to cut these off and re-weld them as in the middle, because it will probably be more make more sense that way, but... Who knows? I don't know yet. I'm just, right now I'm configuring it, but I want to have a stance like that. So right now, I gotta get cleaned up. It's currently 11.30 almost. So I gotta get done. I gotta get all my welding stuff cleaned up and get it done. But right now, this looks pretty fucking badass. Hey guys, back here to the go-kart. We got the bearing hangers all ready to be welded together with a 220 welder from, it's a Miller, I believe. Um, last time you guys were here, I did the plates and the back bearing hangers got cut off. We grinded all these down, I grinded all these down to make them flush and to get a good weld. So hopefully get a good weld out of it. And we'll go from there. All right. Hey guys, what's up? Ryan back here at the go-kart. Um, bottom line, I just straightened these up. As you can see, it's a wibble wobbly. Bearings are sort of bad in the wheel. Also right here, bearings are sort of bad. But, the bright side is, I don't think it's the rim itself, I think it's the uh, things. So I bought a second go-kart when I bought this one, which that's gonna be in another video. So I'm gonna go see how good the bearings are on there and see if these wheels fit on there, because otherwise, I'm going to do some wheel swapping and some uh, painting for these wheels. Because I know the wheels look very shitty. Yes, I know. They're bald. They're slicks. Uh, right now, I got the back axle welded on, as I showed you last time in the last video. Um, I don't know how many parts of this video I have, but I know I'm going to have a lot. So, basically, this go-kart is called the Second Amendment. Right here, I'm going to show you how I got the live axle. I got hubs. So, if I want to change wheels out to something else or whatever... Two washers for the end. I got this is the brake caliber. If you didn't want to put the brake caliber onto the sprocket itself, which you can do. 
I had to get a shitty sprocket off of my other go-kart because I lost the big the other one. Same size, and I was kind of glad it fit. Here's all the nuts and lock washes for it. Here's the brake caliber they gave me, so that's going to be changed in the near future. Don't know what this plate is, but i got to figure that out eventually. This is the other thing that I had on my go-kart, so I don't know how good the bearings are on there, so we will go check. I'm going to go check but right now, and then these are the tires that I got. Tire I got. I gotta go get one more and then two tubes. Cause track supply apparently is a bitch. So if you ever buy a go-kart in New Jersey, just know you ain't gonna find shit unless you go on IBM.com, Amazon, or even Go Power Sports. Go Power Sports is one of the best places to go on, and so is IBM. I love Go Power Sports myself, uh, but you know, I, I rather be sponsored by them so I can do more of these projects. Um, I hope you guys en are enjoying the video so far, and I hope you are getting along through it. I will show you some more process of it in a little while. Here we go again. So, I had to change the wheel hubs. These hubs are the original ones. Well, like I said, I bought a second cart, so I had two hubs. Fuck with. So, they're both white. These are the old ones. They were all seized up, and so is the bearings. So, I put spacers in there, so I'm being a dumbass with the wide wheels. And yes, this is bent. As you can see, it's bent to shit. That's straight, as you can see. The wheels are straight, it might look a little bent. It's because that arm is bent. You see my finger straight, it's bent like that. It's bent like that. This one's straight somehow, but I think this one hit a tree. Because this whole, this whole and whole side is caved in. So I'm guessing he clipped the wheel and then bang. So I don't know if it was the whole shifting of the cart, or he hit the tree like that, I don't know how. Don't ask me, shit's weird, this one. But right now I'm about to heat this up with this uh, weld, uh, plumber's torch. Heat that up and try to bend that down a little bit to get that straight again. And then go from there. That's the steering wheel, I'm about to make a wood one, just for to say fuck it, or whatever, but I don't know yet. Alright, enjoy the video, and I hope you guys are liking where it's going so far. Yes, I'm very messy when I work. I got all my shit out still. Here we are, back to the go-kart again. I have to take these off. I have my tires. I got uh, basically all coming along. I gotta put a key in the brake. This, I'm gonna change this out to the other chain, because that's a 40 chain. This is a, uh, over here, this is a 35. So I might do the 35, but I'm not too sure if this chain is long enough to do what I'm going to do, so I don't know. Stay tuned. Um, these over here, I have these collars that are supposed to go around there to keep them tight, close together. There's my hubs. There's my tires. The reason why I did hubs, which somebody asked me, was because I want to be able to change my tires. To say if I didn't want these anymore, I throw these on another go-kart that has these hubs, possibly. I can get V-grooves, whatever, or I can even put fucking the, um... What is that kit called? The, um, the track kit. I know them still in my mind. Those are fucking awesome. But yeah, that's what I'm doing so far. That's what I got, and that's what I'm getting to. So, see you guys in the next video. So, as we continue on our go-kart process, I have figured out that this wheel does not touch the ground. This one, however, does. These back ones do touch the back of the ground, but this thing is also stanched like a race car. So I realized when this is turned, it ain't going to steer properly. So I either got to do some configuration of, you know, cutting this down or cutting that down to make that go up or something of it, like along them lines. But all I know is this side of the cart does not touch the ground. So steering is going to be a little weird. So I realize maybe maybe when I'm in sitting in the car, maybe the weight will tell differently. But either way, I might just have to bend it, like bend it from that way, from being that way to you know, instead of going like this to go the straight. But I have no idea. It might be twisted too. I'm thinking it might be twisted, but I'm looking all the way down. It looks exactly the same except for that. It 
just looks twisted right there. So I might have to put it in, lock it up, and pull it. Or hook one end up to a tree and hook this end up to a tree and start pulling on it. Get it a little somewhat straight. But I didn't think that'd be much of a problem. Now thinking back on it, yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> that's a problem. Holy shit, okay. What's up there, guys? Um, In the video that you just watched, that was me a little bit and my two other buddies helping me put my go-kart together. Um, I bought it about a month or two ago, cheap, and uh, right now it's got the tires. I got to get the, I got a motor situation I have to figure out. Um, I have a 40 series torque converter going on it. And a few other processes. Um, I don't have as much video as I used to have on them. Because I went through my phone and everything. I'm using my phone right now to record my videos. So this is just a little bit. It's still my first video. So I still have to go over a lot of everything. Um, I'm hoping to get better with my video recording skills. And a little bit more content for you guys. But right now this is part one. Part two is going to be the engine basically. A few of the seat modifications. The light bar modifications. And putting a battery on it. And maybe a roll cage. Well, with 301 Predator, I need a roll cage. So that's out of the that's that's not even a question or a thought. That's a definite that has to happen. Cause I'm not worried about myself. I'm worried about the damn motor. Cause even if the go kart crashes, I might be dead. The go kart will be fine. Well, the motor will be fine. That's a fucking expensive motor. I'm not worried about myself. I'm worried about the motor. Fuck that. Fuck me. The motor's the motor's gonna be fine. Fuck me. But the motor has to be good. Like, shit, I'm not worried about me. I'm worried about the damn motor. Because if I survive, oh well. A few broken bones, maybe some skid up skin. Oh well. I mean, I don't care. But I need that motor to be fine. Perfectly fine. But yeah, that's what that's the dilemma I'm at. And I also have some videos of me putting the twerk converter and comparing a 30 series to a 40 series twerk converter. So stay tuned for that video. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys got a little bit more knowledge about this go-kart. Uh, it's, it's a 1970, I said it was a 1990, but it was a 1970 classic go-kart. There was a serial number on the old plate that I used to have for it. I don't have before pictures, I wish I did, because this thing is going to turn out like, bang. But, no, I do not have before views. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys like and share, and I hope you guys have a great time watching this. So, have a beautiful, wonderful, and lovely night. Love all you guys. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's fake.